Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about one of my favourite areas of research, the SETI project, or the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. The SETI project is a worldwide effort by scientists to look for signals from other intelligent beings in the universe. And it's fascinating to me because the project explores what people have always wondered. Is there anyone else out there? And if so, are they trying to communicate with us? I'd like to examine this more closely and I'm going to start with a couple of questions. First, why do so many of us assume that there are other intelligent beings in the universe? And second, if there really are, how can we find them? Let's talk first about this assumption that there must be intelligent life. Is there anyone else out there? Well, first let's think about our planet Earth. We have life on this planet because we have the right conditions. We have sun that gives us heat, and we have water, which every living being requires. And as a result, over a long time, intelligent life has developed here although sometimes we don't seem all that intelligent. Anyway, now think of all the stars in the night sky. Each star that you see could be a sun like our sun with planets around it. In our galaxy, the Milky Way, there are an estimated 200 billion stars, at least 200 billion. Wow. And throughout the universe, which is all of outer space, there are at least a hundred billion other galaxies. You do the math. That's billions and billions of stars. And maybe one of those stars somewhere in another galaxy is like our sun. And maybe that sun has a planet like our Earth with the right conditions for life to develop. Right? And maybe intelligent life has developed and those beings just like us are wondering is there anyone out there? So, this is really an assumption about numbers. With the huge number of stars in the universe, it seems very probable, very likely, that somewhere out there, there is other intelligent life. But then, the next question is, if there are these intelligent beings out there, how are they going to communicate with us? In popular culture, in movies and TV, the aliens always arrive in a spaceship, right? But actually, that would be very difficult. For one thing, the universe is really, really big, and spaceships just don't travel very fast. Take, for example, the star Alpha Centauri in the Milky Way. It's 4.2 light years away. If we used our fastest rockets, it would take us 60,000 years to reach Alpha Centauri. Who's got that kind of time? So, travelling here by spaceship would take way too long. But think about it. When you want to visit someone far away, do you just jump in a plane and fly over there? No, you email or you text them. You give them a call first, right? Well, don't you? So, it makes much more sense. If these aliens want to communicate, they won't just travel all the way here to Earth. They'll give us a call first. So, assuming that there are intelligent beings out there trying to communicate with us, trying to give us a call, how do we look for their signal? What do we look for? Well, the SETI search looks for radio signals coming from outer space. They use large radio telescopes located all over the world to listen for these signals. These telescopes look like big, round dishes and work like a big, giant ear, listening to signals from outer space. So we are making another assumption here, that the aliens will communicate with us by radio signals. OK, but why radio signals? First, because the technology to make radio signals is not very complicated. We've had radio signal technology for more than 100 years. So we're assuming that other beings probably have this technology as well. Second, there's the speed of radio signals. They travel at the fastest speed in the universe, the speed of light. So imagine this. If radio signals were sent from Alpha Centauri, they'd get here in almost four years 
and that's a lot faster than the 60,000 years a spaceship would take. So, okay, we have these radio telescopes and we're listening. But what are we listening for? I mean, are we waiting for the aliens to send a voicemail saying, you know, hello, anybody home? Well, no. We're not listening for something like that. We aren't even listening for words or language. Instead, we're looking for a very strong signal that stands out and that is different from other signals in space. It has a series or a sequence of signals showing some kind of order. We assume that if a signal is very strong and in a series or a sequence, that it's being sent intentionally, sent by someone. Then we'll pay attention and we'll listen some more and try and find out who is sending it and what it means. Now here's really something to think about. What happens if we find a signal that we think is from aliens? This is something the scientists at the SETI project have planned for.